Hello everyone, I'm Nif, and I'm back with another redstone tutorial. I know it's been a while, but I've decided to make another one. And this one's going to be a simple redstone lock. And not really advanced, but it'll work. And we're going to use four levers, and what we're going to do is we're going to connect it with AND gates. Now AND gates are just three blocks, one, two, three, with the input connected to this one, the other input connected to this one, with a redstone piece in the middle, and right here. So when you click this one, nothing happens. When you click that one, nothing happens. And But if you click both of them, this one turns on. So they both have to be on, or else nothing works. Now we're going to hook the same hookup up to these, but for later in the video, we're going to want it like that, and I'll show you why. And same here, just an AND gate. And then one more AND gate. connect both these AND gates and we'll hook up to an iron door. Now if you'll notice won't turn on. Won't turn flip both of those. Nope. You have to flip all four for that to open. Now that's a really obvious password. So we're gonna fix that by adding inverters. So this inverts the current, so this is always on, unless you flip this. So now the password is one, these three, but that might still be a little obvious for you, and you want another inverter. So now the password is just these two, and someone will probably just go along and be up, oh, uh, that one, that one. That one still not opening. We'll try for a while, probably give up. And it opens with just those two. Now you can add this inverter there, there, anywhere you want. You can add in inverters on all of them, which probably isn't the best idea. <laughs> now the next one I'm going to build is a little more secure because it's really hard to get right if you don't know the code. So we're going to start off with just five buttons. Now, on these three buttons, we're going to add, on these four buttons, we're going to add inverters. And we're just going to connect all these up. Different, so that's two. And this one's going to be a sequenced one. So, it's going to require you to exactly type in at the right time the code. And we're going to connect this up to an OR gate. I believe an OR gate. But all it is that. So what's what's going to happen is all these need to be activated at the same time. And you're going to need to go bam 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 but that's really hard right now because if you notice so we're just going to set all these to their highest delay this will make it this one don't set it to its highest delay it works best not on the highest delay so you're going to go like that that and that and they all meet at the same time and thus this flashes now this one, no delay. Just connect that straight up. We're going to connect this and this one with an AND gate. So what's going to happen is we're going to, all these, oh, 
this one needs an inverter or actually doesn't need a redstone on the back so what's going to happen is all these buttons have to be pressed in the right order and those two will be activated and for a short time this torch will be activated but that's not long enough at all for you to walk through a door and we can solve that with a really easy gate I like to call the RS Nor Latch probably my use my most used latch I love the thing because I hate levers and so how this is going to work is place one here and then go over one up three and then place a torch there torch there clear out some of this and because the repeaters this used to be a fairly large latch but nowadays because of the repeaters it is not a large latch so what you're going to do you're going to want to run this redstone to a door actually you're going to want to run this redstone the redstone that's off you want to run the redstone to oops sorry about that lag be right back All right, guys sorry about that um so uh Oops. Nope. Pointed towards the block. Um, so, what the RS Nor latch is, is uh, it's basically a memory cell. And it holds an input until it's reset. Now, what's going to happen is this torch is going to be lit up for just a short time, but that's enough to turn this torch off and this torch on. And to reset that, you just apply power to this block, and you'll see that. So, we want this torch right here hooked up to a door. So we'll just run that over here to right there. And uh we'll get this door real quick. Um so it'll uh activate that RS nor latch and the problem is you want it to close afterwards so uh what you're gonna do is We have that fifth button, but I'll demonstrate this real quick. And so one, two, three, four. You'll see the door opened, and everything worked. And I'll show you. I'll. Oops! What the hell? Sorry, guys. <laughs> door closes. Now let's type it out of order to show that it is sequenced. There, that didn't open. So, if we run this this way to here, we'll add some. Uh, actually, I'm gonna run this door to where I can show you guys the use of this uh, fifth button. Oop. So, probably isn't long enough. There we go. Um. So you're gonna get your little door frame, go up, got that, okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna add delays to this. This is if you want to unlock the door and it to lock immediately after you get in the door. You don't have to do this, you can have the reset button inside the door, so when you get in, so you're just gonna go straight down the line. Get in real quick and just made it. And what happens is this activates the RS Noil Latch over there. And this one runs through and it resets it. So the door will close again. But you don't have to have this fifth button, it's optional. Well, you have to have the fifth button somewhere. So what you can do is you can have it on the inside of your house or whatever you want protected. If you want to go like this door opens, get inside, click the button, door closes. And then whoever's following you or whatever will be like, oh, what's the combination? Um, is it that? No. Is it, is it this? But you can also add this, this reset switch just for fun in that 
five buttons and this button always screws them up because even if they get this first part right and they press that it resets it so it's just my opinion that you know you can have it anywhere um thanks for watching guys and I'd appreciate it if you would rate comment subscribe and I'll keep making these tutorials please leave a comment on what you would like to make what you would like me to make next and I'll make it thanks for watching